Torrential rainfall on Wednesday caused the collapse of a huge colonial era dam at Tinguru in the West Mampusi municipality of the northeast region. Flat waters from the collapsed dam inundated the community, causing a bridge on the main Waliwali Nalerugu road to wash off, splitting the road apart and leaving dozens of passengers and motorists stranded for hours. The heavy downpour also flooded homes and destroyed public utility in the East Mampusi municipality and the Yongyo district. Here are some affected persons speaking to Joy News. The torrential rains started at about 4 a.m. Wednesday and poured unceasingly until midday. The heavy rains across the region left a trail of destruction as homes were flooded and personal properties as well as public utilities destroyed. At Tingui in the West Van Persie municipality, the rains caused the community dam to collapse and excessive water spill from the collapsed dam submerged and washed away a bridge on the main Waliwali Naliruku road. The road was ripped apart by flood waters from the dam causing several passengers traveling on the road to be stranded. Here are some residents of Tinguru and Bani who witnessed the collapse of the dam and the destruction of the road. No, as you can see, a lot of farms have been destroyed and some people's houses have been broken down. So please, uh, if the government can come to our aid and then help us and then they will see how they can then fix it for us because that cannot pass to Waliwali and that too cannot pass from Waliwali to Nalerugu. So the river has been uh, destroyed. We are unable to cross the Timbri, the same way the people of Timbri are unable to reach us. If you have any assistance, we need it immediately. The rain has caused a lot of havoc. It has destroyed our bridge and has rendered the road unmotorable. As you can see, if they didn't come and block it, dry season will not get water to build our houses. Our animals too will not get water to drink. So we are appealing to the stakeholders. Anyone who can come to our aid, we are pleading, please help us. If not, this year we will not find it easy. A group of travelers from Naliruku was seen stranded here in Bani. Although officials of the National Disaster Management Organization visited the scene, the stranded passengers said they did not provide any assistance to them. As a result, a group of young people in Tinguri and Bani mobilized themselves and discovered a new route where desperate travelers crossed for a fee. Passengers traveling in and out of the regional capital were offloaded at Tinguri and Bani, where they had to walk several miles or ride pillion through the bush road to reach this new crossing point. Emmanuel is the leader of the group. So far, we are here since in the morning helping the people cross. As you can see over there, you can see our other colleagues over there helping the other people out there. So when they come, also help them go there. They can have their way to wherever destination they are going. So we need help. Uh, with a bag. If anybody there around can help us with, with a bag, with a bag, North East Road, the main road of North East is broke. Today, this early in the morning, around 6 o'clock, rain, rain, uh, to 12 o'clock before it stopped, it broke the North East rain. It broke the North East road. So we need help. The rains are said to have also caused significant damage to residential buildings and other properties in the East Mampusi municipality and the Yuyo district. The disaster management organization said it could take days is to conduct a full and complete assessment of the situation due to the intensity of destruction. The regional minister, who was also at the scene, declined to comment. The member of parliament for Nalergu Gambaga, Haji Baba Said Isifu, who was traveling to his constituency, was forced to return to Tamale at Tinguri. Flood and other weather related disasters are common in the northeast region. Some of the victims are blaming their leaders for neglecting them. As you can see, if you go inside, you see what is happening. It caused a lot of havoc inside. And all the time, we, we complain about it. But since that and up to now, authorities, they don't listen. Until sometimes, even something major happens, they don't come to our aid. When you come to our rooms, we can't sleep today. Where are we going to sleep? And sometimes when you complain, 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 they don't listen. They really want someone to die before they will now come to our aid. Or what do they want? Ilias Sotanko reporting from Tinguri for Joy News. Now, officials in the region, including the Disaster Management Organization, say for now it's impossible to conduct a comprehensive assessment 
of the situation. They've called for immediate national attention. Northeast Regional Director of NATPO, John Quickle Hassan, joins us with more. I'm, I'm great to, to have you this morning. You say that you need national attention before you'll be able to uh, conduct any proper assessment. Has that attention been given you now? Do you have support from the national level? Oh, as for the support, the support has always been there. But what we are saying is that yesterday we experienced a heavy downpour and uh, almost every part of the region was uh, flooded. And then uh, the Tungulian question was that, uh, you know, there's a dam there uh, at uh, Bani. So the dam collapsed and then washed away the bridge. So NADMO and other security agencies were there to ensure that lands and properties are not lost. So I'm even really surprised to hear some of them uh, making such comments that uh, they need assistance and they didn't get. What kind of assistance do they need and they didn't get? Well, we're there. Even the original minister, the MCE for West Manpussi Municipality, nothing officials were there. And we actually ensured that lands and properties were not lost. Right. So what... Okay, but I'm just asking, I mean, so have you been able to conduct the assessment now? yesterday and you know the whole place was inundated with water so we need uh, to take time for the water to receive before not more officials can even get onto the phone to do the proper assessment okay and and how long how long do you think this will take that will depend on the uh, the water when the water is not receded and you go there even you the not more officials uh I in danger well i suppose you have the the, the equipment and all the other things you need to, to enable you to work in such situations, don't you? Uh, of the flood. Nobody stopped. What we are saying is that it's the farms and the roads that are destroyed. And then we ensure that people should not even get closer to the disaster center so that they, they can be affected. All right. And so we're on the ground. As mm. I speak to you now, we are on the ground monitoring the situation. Okay. And I'm told that the minister this morning uh, uh, told us that the minister of roads and transport, they are coming to the, uh, the, the incident scene so I'll tell the situation so that from there uh, we will see what we can do to uh, help the, uh, the people uh, cross the other side. Is there an alternative for travellers? Come because again. I'm asking if there's an alternative for travellers because the bridge has been washed away. Are there any other routes they can use to connect That's to the rest of the country? We are, we are waiting for the people from Accra to come. Uh -huh. Because they are the criminal class, and when they come, I think the, uh, something can be done about the situation. No, the question I'm asking you is, because the bridge has been washed away, we are told that people cannot travel from the northeast region to the rest of the country. I'm asking, are there any other routes that are available, or they would have to stay on the well, other this, side? This morning, this morning, cars from Wale Wale park uh, at the other side, and then people have to cross the other side to board cars to Malirigu. But what we are saying is that it's the vehicles that cannot uh, cross to the other side. And it's not even uh, uh, that place alone. Even in the city area, it is the same thing. Uh, it's the water. The water that has caused the problem. Mm, uh, we appreciate that. But have you been in contact with the Ghana Meteo? Um, do we know if more rains are coming? Any information that residents of the place should know with regards to what the weather is going to look like in the, in the, in the, in the have, coming we days? Have, we have been doing the sensitization on the region stations. We have also been doing community engagement. And even uh, since uh, yesterday, we continue to educate the people to move to a higher ground. And then uh, also they should be cured, uh, uh, cautious about their own future and be on their legs. After that, what we have been doing, and we we'll continue to do it. Because yeah. we're in the midst of the, 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 the race. You know, the, 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 can, the race can come at any moment from now. Okay, I'm grateful for your time. John Kukul Hassan is Northeast Regional NADBO Director. I will stay a while longer on this issue. We are speaking now to the MP for Nalerugu Gambaga, Yusuf Baba. Good morning to you. Thank you so much. We just had from uh, the NADBO official in your area. Uh, but, but do you know if any plans have been made for, for the, 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 the constituents to receive some relief? Okay, good morning, and um, I appreciate this opportunity. I, I listened to the NADMO Regional Director with keen interest. Um, first and foremost, let me say that this is not a normal situation for NADMO to handle. Okay. For the past three years, we have been covering this uh, class, and uh, bridges and infrastructure have been affected. But what I want to say is that um, this particular situation is not a normal situation, and the normal director must be calling for assistance. He must be calling for resources that will assist him to do his work. 
Now, as we talked, yesterday I was en route to Nalerigo to my constituency. Unfortunately, I couldn't get there. I tried a number of times, and it was extremely difficult for me because there was virtually no need. The bridge around Banley was washed off. Uh, Banawa area was flooded. I tried to use an alternative route to, um, uh, to uh, 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 Nasha and uh, Parbu. Mm -hmm. That didn't work. The whole route flooded. So as we speak now, there's virtually no way somebody can access Nalergo Gambaga and for them as a and the rest of those Ajayan constituencies and communities. So it is a very serious situation. Three years ago, we had the same flood, and some bridges were washed off. I made a call. I even filed a question on the floor of Parliament to that effect. Up to now, those bridges are still hanging, and those particular communities in Timpela and Bukwajo, two bridges were washed off. Those communities for the past three years don't have access to, especially when we have when we are in the rainy season, getting to hospitals, getting to school, coming out to do business and uh, carrying on their economy, and even farming activities becomes a problem. So this particular one is a very serious one, a devastating disaster for us, and the national officer must be calling for government intervention. We well, well we understand that the Minister for Roads and Highways is, is on his way there. Well, he's on his way there. I'm also, I'm also around. So we'll let you can see what he's coming to do. But what we are saying is that we need a very serious intervention because um, farms have been washed off. People have been in the farms for the past three months. Now their crops have been washed off. You know, markets are flooded. And people have been forced to evacuate their, 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 their homes. Mm, so, so, so it is not a normal situation. So, Mr. Baba, you say that, you say that something similar happened some time back. Yeah. Did we not anticipate this? Were there no plans in place to ensure that the, the, the floods did not, did not cause this devastation no. like it, it has in, no. in this? No. This issue has been going on for the past for some time now. And that is why the people are calling for, are saying that they, are, they have been neglected. Now, if you look at the Walwali people rule, uh, last year we had the same flood. People had to create channels for water to, you know, you know, water to move from one end of the road to the other, you know, before they could be, before amateurs could normalize for them. So what we need, to, what we are saying is that. The road must be looked at on a more sustainable basis. We have to, the government must know that this is now a regional route. And the, 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 the number of vehicular traffic on the road has increased. So if the infrastructure is not raised to a level that will defeat the city and will face more, more bridges and more coverage, we are going to have these problems happening every time. Right. The drainage uh system that issue and it has to be looked at. So the problem goes beyond NABU. It needs a governmental intervention with dedicated resources to solve this problem once and for all. Uh, um, Mr. 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 Uh, Seydou, so the, the other question is that this is happening because a dam got broken. I, I'm just wondering, this dam we were told was built, was built during the colonial era. Were there any stress tests, were there any assessments done over the years? Are you aware if anything like that happened? No, no. We, let, let me say that. Even if the, road, the dam was constructed during the colonial era, this road was recently constructed. You get a point. The road was recently constructed. So even if there were no feasibility studies as to the longevity of the dam, but the road was recently constructed, so the engineering should have taken cognizance of the fact that anything there could be spillage and things like that. So what we are saying is that the whole road stretch from Nalergo to Walwali and for them to Bumpulgu requires civil engineering and requires dedicated resources from the government to be able to fix it. Thank you for so your time.
Yeah, yeah, thank you for your time this morning. Nisi Fusedu is MP for Nalirugu Gambaga. We'll stay in touch with you. Uh, also uh, seeing that the roads minister is expected to visit the site soon. Our man on the ground, Ilyasa Tanko, will be finishing us with details. But away.